Is this on? Cool. Take. Hello and welcome to yet another video on my YouTube channel, Mr. Beat is Electronics. So today we'll be tackling the software part of the Arduino based pin plotter project. I know all of you have been waiting for this video for a very long time as this is a very highly requested one. So learn something from this video, sit back, relax and also while you're here, don't forget to like, share and subscribe as this is a fairly new channel and I need all of your support. So let's get on with the video. So these are the four files that are required. The links are given in the description below for the Google Drive, there is a folder and within that folder you will find all of these four files. Now let's start with the coding part. Connect your Arduino Uno to your computer and then head on to the Arduino IDE. Next, go into the sketch then include library and then add zip library as you can see over here. And next, select the migrbl.zip that have been provided or you have downloaded from the Google Drive. Click on it, open. And it will be imported into the Arduino IDE. Next, we go into File, Examples and then scroll down to the migrbl library that has been included just now. And within that, there is a grbl upload code. click on it to open it once the code opens don't click anything or change anything within the code now go on the tools and board and check if the Arduino Uno has been selected and also under the port see if the correct com port have been selected where the Arduino is connected next just go ahead and upload the code to the connected Arduino Uno and let it finish. Next, we want to install the Inkscape software just like any other software and then unzip the 4 xidro extension.zip file that has been provided. Now, go into the newly created 4 xidro extension folder and copy all of these files now head on over to the location where you have installed Inkscape and open that location or folder and within the installation folder there is a share folder open it and within it there is an extensions folder open that too here you have to paste the copied files. Now within Inkscape go to file and then to document properties. Here we have to change the height and the width or the drawing area according to the size of the area that the pen plotter will have access to. For me I am setting 100 by 100 and we close this window. To zoom in, hold your control key and scroll up or down to zoom in or out respectively. Let's start simple by drawing a square or rectangle. You can also draw a circle. All the shapes are provided on the left hand side bar and take a note of the length, height or the width so that they can be cross checked later on for the calibration part on the actual sheet where the Exedro has drawn. Then we click on the path menu and hit object to path option. Again we click on the path menu and go and click on the dynamic offset. Under the extensions menu go into the 4 Exedro tools option and then hit the generate pen server G code tool and this window will pop up where you can give the name of your choice to the file that is to be generated with extension .g code and you can also select the location where it is to be saved.
let the options be as is because these are the default options and you can also take a note that all the dimensions are given in millimeter for the pin up and down command boxes there are mainly two codes m05 and m03 so let it be as is for the default option and let it run for the first time if the servo is going up instead of down so just come back here and change uh, from M03 to M05 for example and vice versa as the need be and regenerate a new G code with the new options. In the meantime let's hit apply and generate this G code with the default options. Let it run and it will automatically show these. So this is how you will know that the G code has been generated and it is successful. So next we fire up the GRBL controller software which is also provided in the Google Drive and check if the COM port is correct according to the COM port where the Arduino is connected. You can click on the arrow here to see any other available COM port so mine is COM4 and next we check the baud rate which should be exactly this one and next we click on open. And as you can see, there is a success message which shows that the uh, Arduino, uh, there is the GRBL software, the Arduino and this everything is synced up and working properly. Next, we are going to choose files. And we simply, I have a lot of calibration G codes. Uh, so I just click on this one, which is just a circle, simple circle as you can see over here. And it has already marked the path which the pen plotter will follow. So to start drawing just click on begin and it will automatically do everything that it is required to do. And code sent successfully message has appeared without any errors so the drawing is finished. So to close the connection just hit close and reset and it will reset. If you are running the pin plotter for the first time, it will need some calibration. To do that, open the Gerbil controller software and hit open after you have connected the Arduino with the computer. Next, what you can do is you can generate a G code having a line of say 15 cm or some specified length which is measured out within the Inkscape software and after the pin plotter has finished drawing it, you can measure it manually on, on the paper to check if it is 15 centimeter or not. In this way you can get the uh, difference in between the G code one and the generated one. So after you have found out the difference you can hit double dollars and hit enter within the box of the gerbil controller and you will find a lot of options. But within these options what we are interested about is this dollar hundred which is the X direction step per millimeter or the distance and the dollar 101 that is in the Y direction the step per millimeter. To change it what you do come to the box and just write dollar 100 then equal to and give the desired value. So you have to do this by trial and error and just hit enter and it will accept it as the new value and run the G code again and see how big or small it draws. In this way you can do it also in the y direction for the 101 and this is how you calibrate your pen plotter. I had to do it too and you will have to also do it and sometimes also it will go out of bounds or try to go out of the area you have to just manually unplug it and reset it once again. So this is the software so I am just hitting begin Let's focus on the pen plotter right now. So you can actually see the progress on the screen. The green parts have already been drawn and the blue part is left. So it has already finished and a little recommendation you have to use very smooth pen or marker what you want this is a gel pen it needs to be very smooth and 
it's finished. One quick side note here. If your stepper motors is making a vibrating sound or a noise and it is not moving, so just take a screwdriver and move these ports anti-clockwise or clockwise on both of these and it will just work. It was happening to me also right now so I just turned these and it just started working.